All right, so today I'll be showing you how to use the calculator app on your iPhone, okay? So every iPhone comes with a default calculator app and you can find it in the utilities folder by default or maybe you might have moved it somewhere else. And if you can't find it, just search for it, okay? It's available on every iPhone. So that is the calculator and that's what it looks like by default. And you can perform uh, multiplication, division, subtraction, addition, math, all that stuff. Okay, 55 divided by 5 equals stuff like that. But also, there are, there's more to this calculator than what you can see. So if you tap on this little menu, you can see the history of your calculations. So you can see calculations you made within the previous 30 days. And if you want to, you can actually delete the calculator history. Okay, so you can just tap on clear and that's going to delete everything or you can tap on edit and delete specific entries from your calculator history. All right, so that's that. Alternatively, if you tap on this little icon, you can see you can switch to a scientific calculator. So what we have here by default is a basic calculator. But if you tap here, you have the option for scientific calculator and even maths notes and even a built-in converter that converts literally everything. So if you go into scientific mode, you can see that that's what it looks like. You have all this option, you have cosine, sine, tan, all that stuff. You can find logarithms and all those uh, sorts of calculations. And you can even switch the calculator to landscape mode. So for instance, if you turn lock orientation off and turn the calculator, then you have more space to work with, all right? Now, once again, you can switch. We just uh, remove that. You tap here, you can switch to Maths Notes, and this is where you can, you can write. So you can pick up the pen, any pen, and then start writing. And it works better in portrait mode, as you can see. So for instance, you can write 44, over nine and then let's write equals and we should get an answer for that okay so as you might have seen that gives us that gave us an answer and we can clear that and write something else so let's write uh 54 over six equals we get an answer so that's another way you can use the iPhone calculator in the math notes section of that particular calculator. So that is basically how to use your iPhone's calculator. It's very simple and it can do a lot. I'll be making subsequent videos on how to do specific things with your calculator. In fact, if you have any question, you can ask me like, for example, how to uh, calculate logarithms with the iPhone calculator. I'll make extensive videos on those in separate videos. But as far as generally using the calculator, that's how you do it, right? Now, if you use the calculator a lot, you can even add it to one of your control center pages or in the control center. So, for instance, if you long press on this control center and select add a control, you can find the calculator app. So let's try and find it. Let's go to the utilities section here it is so you can tap on it and it's going to get added to the control center so if you use it often you can just add it there and anytime you need it you can just launch it from there okay so that is basically how to use the calculator thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like if you found if you found this useful if you didn't and you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section good luck